Professor Alan Gatsoff. Mr. Kenny Pompey. Does the round of hugs. And now one thing that's important about that, back in the day you could hug, they'd grease you, you could hug somebody else. Now once you're done hugging your team and you get greased, you get inspected, you can't touch anybody else before you go in that cage. Well, it's good because you, know, you don't want any, not saying that these gentlemen would, but you don't want anyone having the opportunity to like slip some grease on someone just to help them out thinking they're going to get an advantage because remember this is amateur but in the professional level when a fighter wins a lot of people win around him a lot of bookies win too yeah a lot of bookies a lot of teammates and a lot of coaches they all get paid by the fighter they get a percentage of his win well and you'd be surprised too i mean you know i've been around amateur and pro for quite a while and i've i've seen amateur bouts where the coaches put vaseline all up and down the spine of their of their athlete so here we go, we got Hayden Speckhart in the blue corner there. So he's got the blue tape around the shin guards. And again, you do see those shin guards, so it is a novice match right here. So no ground and pound to the face. Submission only, besides punch into the body, no knees either way. Tonight the first fight, or first five fights will be novice rules. And then after that, there'll be an intermission. And then we're going to go to the main card. Kyle Masoth with uh, Mario Vasquez at Team Night Night Boxing. Hayden Speckhart looks like he's gonna be the taller fighter inside the cage. So again, Kyle Masoth in the red corner. You'll see the red tape on his shin guards and his wrists. Here we go. We got the beautiful shenanigan girls coming in to bring in the round one. If you say shenanigans one more time, I'm going to pistol whip you. <laughs> shenanigans. <laughs> We're going to throw up to the ring announcer, Mike Falvo. Our next bout is the, the evening is scheduled for three rounds. It is in our flyweight division, brought to you by CageWarsNY.com, presented by Sticker Mule, Ryan Clark Realty, and County Waste and Recycling. The judges for our next bout are Mr. Chris Belinsky, Rob Exisa and Danielle Walter. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner, representing Team Zhukow. He's standing five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in yesterday at 125 pounds. Out of Scotia, New York, Hayden Specker. And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He is representing Team Night Night Boxing, weighing in yesterday at 125 pounds. Out of Troy, New York, White 100, Kyle Massett. And controlling the action at the sound of the bell, your referee, Dan Mergliata. You know, think about that. This is each of these young men's, uh, oh, no, actually, Kyle has had one fight in another state. Um, but, you know, both early in her career having Big Dan in the ring. Absolutely. Anytime you have Big Dan in the ring, that's cage with you, you know, you know you're know you going to be well protected. He's one of the best out there. We also have Mr. Stephen James, another uh, very, very accredited pro and amateur referee as well. Here we go. Nice. Hayden throws that kick and nice goes kick for with take Speckhart. Down. Oh, Masoth on top. He just... Looked like he just tried to punch to the face on the ground. A couple of knees to the body by uh, Kyle right there. Wow, Masat doing a nice job staying on top, and then Hayden did a nice job reversing. Kyle has the neck, but... Not really doing much with it from that position. No. He's just tugging on him real hard. I don't think he really has the hip angle. Throwing real wild. He keeps his hands up like the fighting Irish character. I was just thinking that. Oh, oh, but, 
Big shots by Hayden right there. Here's the thing about punches, though. If you get hit with one, oh, nice knee to the body. Nice knee to the body by Hayden. That was a vicious knee. That, that looked like it did some serious body damage. You it's, know, if Hayden was smart, he'd wait for him to, to whiff like that, take him right down, double. Yeah, blast right through. Yep. He's a taller man. He's at reach. Very interesting stance by Mr. Masoff. He reminds me of the fighting Irishman. Kyle, oh, Kyle, excuse me. Hayden looks like he's struggling to get that hip level down to well, he's drive much, through. He's much taller than Kyle. Now, here's the thing. A lot of inexperienced grapplers are going to hold on to the neck from that position, thinking they're doing themselves a favor, when in reality, most times you tire your arms out. Hey, he's hanging on for dear life, but from the bottom, you're not going to be able to do a whole lot, like you said, Will. And you just get fatigued. There he is. He's, Kyle, I mean, excuse me, Hayden is now out on top. And, and coming, full mount. coming from Team Juka, you know he's he's used to being on the ground, so he's comfortable right now. He's in mount. And he's looking for that head and he's arm choke. He's looking triangle. head and arm choke. Oh, he got the back. Can he sink the hooks in? He's trying for that rear naked choke. There it is. That's tight. He's not even he's trying, trying to defend that. rear naked that. choke. That's it. That's it. Tap. That's the tap. There's the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Hayden Spectart with the victory via rear naked submission. You know, and honestly, I think that goes to, to a little bit, speaking about the independent versus team fighters. Absolutely. Shows a huge difference right there. You know, it looked like uh, Kyle was swinging for the fences and throwing everything he had, and he wasn't even coming close to the, landing them. Absolutely, and Hayden was using his techniques. You know, he struggled a little bit in the beginning, taking uh, Kyle down and keeping him in a position. But, again, he uses techniques. He uses tools that he's obviously been taught over at Team Drew And, uh, you know, it got him the win. Absolutely. Impressive victory by him. You know, he kept his poise, too, for a young fighter um, making his debut. Kept his poise inside there. Sometimes when you get a guy who's just swinging like real wild like that, a lot of guys kind of fall into it and start swinging wild back with them. It's that reptile brain. A, yep. It's that man man thinks I hit you hard once, you're going to hit me hard once, back and forth. But uh, great composure right there in that fight by Hayden Speckhart. Comes away with the rear naked choke in the first round. Oh, here we go with the replay. He's got that left arm underneath the neck. Kyle's trying to roll around, not really sure what to do. See, then, then that goes to the inexperience of Kyle. He should have. He didn't even put the hands on the arms. No of attempt Hayden to, to defend that uh, chokehold. You know, the, the first thing is always two on one. Get your hands, control their arm. Always Look. hand control them. You learn that day one in any sort of grappling academy, whether it's wrestling or I'm sure submit. Or even MMA sports. Uh, yeah. Yep. Hand control is very important. And you know, then you rotate, you turn into the armpit to relieve some pressure on the on the neck and the throat. Yep. That carotid artery. Big Dan Mergliata bringing him to the center of the cage for the official announcement. We're going to chuck it up to Mike Falvo. That handsome fella. As the shenanigan broads are to the right. And the fight is drawn to a close after two minutes and three seconds into the first round for your winner by rear naked choke, Hayden Spacca! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Hayden Speckhardt, out of Team Jacau. The Jacau World Order is in full effect. You get that first round submission victory. A lot of people were betting on the knockout here tonight, but you take the submission. Uh, how do you like this for that first fight? That was awesome. Thank you for everyone coming out. It was crazy. Now, what are the plans here? Uh, obviously, 2019 for Cage Wars draws to a close. Do you want to get in here, get a couple more done in 2020? Oh, absolutely. I'm planning on coming back in January. Ladies and gentlemen, on a Team Jacau, your winner, Hayden Speckhardt.